Suppose the movie chain Dugan manages faces typical inverse demand given by price A equals 20 minus 0.02 QA, and that's in the afternoon, and price E equals 20 minus 0.01 QE, and that's in the evening. The operating cost of serving a moviegoer is $3, and the capacity cost of adding an additional seat is $1. The question is asking, which of the following is Dugan's profit function? Well, to start, we want to write profit like this. Profit is total revenue in the afternoon minus the marginal cost times the quantity in the afternoon plus total revenue in the evening. And now, because we assume that the evening time at a movie theater is the peak period, that's the busy period, and we can check this by looking at the demand curve, plugging in any quantity, we get a higher price for the evening time. So plug in one for QE and plug in one for QA, and we're, see, we're gonna see that the price in the evening is gonna be higher than the price in the afternoon. So that tells us that that is our peak period. And when our, with our peak, peak period, we're not only gonna have our marginal cost of minus three QE, but we're also gonna have our additional capacity cost of minus one QE. So the next question says, what quantity should be sold in the evening to maximize profit? Well, here we're going, to take the, we're going to take our profit function of the evening by itself. We don't really need the profit function of the afternoon uh, included here. We take the derivative with respect to QE, and we can set this equal to zero, do some algebra, add 0.02 to each side, QE, and divide through by 0.02, and we find that the quantity sold in the evening should be 800. Even though we have found QE equals 800, we still have to solve for QA just to make sure that our capacity constraint is not broken. And because remember that the quantity in the peak period must be greater than the quantity in the off-peak period. So starting from the profit function in the afternoon, we take the derivative with respect to QA this time, doing some algebra and solving, and we find that QA is equal to 425. Since QE is indeed greater than QA, our constraint is not broken, and therefore 800 seats should be sold to maximize profits in the evening. The last question says, what price should be charged for an afternoon ticket to maximize profit? Well, we just solved for quantity in the afternoon. Remember that price in the afternoon is equal to 20 minus 0.02 QA. That was given to us in the beginning. So since quantity in the afternoon is 425 units, we just plug that in for QA, and we can solve for the price in the afternoon is equal to $11.50.